Hi and welcome to Classic MGB. Now, today we're at Abingdon, but we're not at Kimber House or at the old plant. We're at the cricket ground for MG100 Not Out. It's organised by Oxfordshire MG Owners Club and it's in aid of two charities and all proceeds from this video will go straight to those charities. So let's see what's about. Well, I'm here with Roger Dunn. He's from Abingdon, and this is one of the nicest cars at the show, in my view. It's an MGB, but it's not an MGB, as you know it. So, Roger, what have you done to the car? Um, it's a 67 um, GT. I bought it from a chap in Birmingham who'd started the project and unfortunately wasn't able to complete it. Bought it as a dipped shell that um, I've then subsequently reinforced and restored. I fitted a Toyota 2JZ engine with a 350z nissan gearbox that drives through to a hoyle rear end which has a mark IV supra plate type differential fitted into it right. and um, then obviously you've got independent rear end swing arms and drive shafts out to ford hubs uh, to, wow. to handle the power so yeah so performance is electrifying uh, uh it's Pretty quick, yeah. Um, it, it, it's, it's quite limited at the moment in the sense it's running a very low boost map. Um, it's only 0.8 of a bar. I wasn't overly convinced that I could drive it at a higher level. These engines are you know, legendary. Sure. You can wind them up to seven, 800 horsepower, no problem at all. Um, this is a fully built, fully forged engine, so it's quite capable of 1,000 horsepower should I want to go that far. But at the moment, it's 360 odd at the rear wheels, which is about 420 or so at the at the flywheel, I should imagine. Fantastic. And you've built it all yourself. How, how long did it take you? Uh, approximately two years. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I sprayed it in my garage. My garage is also red now, so. <laughs> <laughs> and is this, is this a hobby? It's purely a hobby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I have to ask, cost? Um, it, I would say somewhere in the 18,000 range to, 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 to build. Obviously, I've done all the work myself, so I haven't contracted out any of the sure. cost anywhere else. But, but um, yeah, just in parts alone, probably about 18,000. And one last question, why an MGB? I've always liked the, the GT car. That was a very pretty car. And um, you can buy literally every nut, bolt, panel, glass, anything you want. So it's a very realizable project starter car, I think, really. Here's another couple of GTs showing just how different they can be in the right hands. But there were a lot of lovely MGBs. But whilst the MGB was clearly the most popular MG at the show, just about every other model was represented. The young members section of the MG Car Club were there, and there was even a display of MGs through every decade of the 100 years. The MG Car Club had a strong presence and included a stand selling the usual fare, as well as a number of the registers like the Midget Register, the MGF Register, and of course, the MGB Register. Well, I've got the shirt, so I thought I'd better find out a bit more about the MGB register. So I've run into Neil Brand, a committee member. Neil, tell me about the MGB register. Yeah, well, we're part of the MG Car Club and we're here to support MGB owners with uh, their technical support um, and generally ownership in terms of getting them the most out of their vehicles. Absolutely. And MGB's in your, in your blood? Um, well, certainly I'm a, a very keen owner. So I've got my GT and uh, yeah, we're out in it, even on wet days like today. So what sort of things do the MGB register do? Well, we can be there from the very start of the ownership um, um, experience in terms of if you're looking to buy a car, we can give advice in terms of looking at whether the car you're going to buy is correctly registered, is are all the details correct on the V5C, um, and start looking through that with you just to make sure that you don't end up with something that maybe you'll regret later on down the line. And then through that, then we lay on events, Register a weekend away next weekend across lovely Dartmouth um, and such events such as today. So Neil, what does it cost to be a member of the MGB register? 
Well, the great thing about it is once you become a member of the MG Car Club itself, then you can join the register representing your mark of vehicle that you have. So in our case, the MGB, um, but also in terms of your centre and region. So if you're in the East Anglia or in the, in the West, there will be a centre that represents you and holds local events. So you've got that membership three in one. You've got the main club membership. You've got your membership of the mark of vehicle you have and the membership in terms of the region where you live. So it's great value. Yeah, that's excellent. So about 50 quid gets you all three. Exactly that. So you can get the best value. And in these times of hardship, then yeah, absolutely. You can do the most you can with that 50 pound. So if you're thinking about buying an MGB, what would your advice be? Well, certainly do your homework. Yeah. Um, spend more time looking to buy it than actually the buying experience itself. Get out there, research, find out who are the good people to restore cars, what its history is, um, and make sure all the paperwork's in order. Absolutely. And what makes the MGB special in your eyes? Um, it, it's the it's the everyday man sports car. It's it's there. And you've only got to go out on a Sunday afternoon locally, take your car out, and no end of people come up to you and regale their stories about you know childhood. It was the car their parents had or it's the car they had. And all those lovely experiences they had. It, it's just an every per everyday car, an every person car. <laughs> Well, the rain's set in, so we're going to call it a day. But I hope the show has raised a lot for charity. Now, talking of charity, all proceeds from this video will go to charity, as I said at the beginning. So if you can like and share and get as many people to watch it as possible, it'll just mean more money for the charity. As always, thanks for watching and take care.